Hey guys, Seth here, and today I will be reviewing Flyme OS ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Well guys, Flyme OS is a highly modified Android variant developed by Mizu team for their smartphone lineup. Fortunately, now we are having this ROM for Samsung Galaxy Note 3 thanks to the developer at Google for making this possible. This ROM is actually running on Android version 4.4.4 KitKat. I'm giving this ROM's thread link in the description of this video so you can go to the thread from there and also guys, it, it donates to the developer for his amazing work. Meizu does away with the app drawer and adopts an iPhone-like user interface with all the apps on the home screen. Icons are pretty much larger which is great for usability and they also look modern in a simplistic way. This new version of Flyme OS has got a facelift from its previous version and on the way it has got a slight visual rehash with ISO-like zoom animations that works smoothly and add a lot of play within the UI. Well guys, the camera app which comes with this ROM has a very neat UI with all the features working out of the box. You can also customize your system with a lot of themes which can be downloaded by going into settings in customization section, click on themes, click continue and you will get a number of great looking themes. The thing which I really like about this ROM is that it comes with a custom browser that boosts a nice touch friendly design and it works well. Scrolling and zooming happens without any lag and that's really what I want. Another thing which I really like about this ROM is the keyboard which comes with this ROM. It is really easy to use and convenient for typing. The task manager can be opened by double pressing the home key. Um, this ROM also has an app called Painter which is quite similar to the S Memo uh, where you can make different kinds of drawings. Well guys, regarding the battery life, I have been using this ROM for 2 days and I found it pretty great. Unfortunately, the S Pen features don't work. Um, other than that, that's a pretty solid ROM which houses a number of utilitarian features. I urge you guys to try this ROM because it is quite different than other custom ROMs. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Please give this video a big thumbs up and if you have any queries, definitely do let me know in the comment section below. Till then, peace out.